Ready, go. Ready, go. Right, let's go. Let's look at the down the line view first. Okay. If you look at the way you bring the inside. club up, it's way inside, right? <laughs> you know that. Yeah. Here, it's going really flat here. But then at this position, mm -hmm. it's a crossover alignment. So you go flat and then going this way here. Mm -hmm. And your right arm is right <laughs> behind the body here. So this is a typical, uh, you know, uh, flat backswing issue here. Okay. okay. So in this one, what happens is you just uh, try to turn your body. Mm -hmm. Instead of using your legs, mm -hmm. you all in your image, mm -hmm. all you want to do is uh, try to turn a lot. Looks like I'm doing a pretty good job. <laughs> mm. And then on the way down, the, what happens is, Over the you see? Yeah, over the top. yeah. You're it's opening the, the chest early, and then, and then what happens is, the the club is coming down behind you, and then it hits the ground early, oh. so the low point occurs about here. Yeah. And then, most cases you are hitting the body of the T, so that's why the T pops mm -hmm. out. Yeah, so right. then, Typical then. Miss is low left. Because your swing plane is kind of flat, mm -hmm. so if it's, uh, the timing is not right, mm -hmm. then it can go any direction. Yes. If it's early, <laughs> then it goes right, yeah. late in the left side, because the swing plane is relatively flat. Uh -huh. So. Um, How does that affect the club head when it's coming in if it's flat? I mean, is it is because it my hands are flat? It's just not as steep, so I'm more horizontal? So, so yeah, basically, you, your turn is more horizontal here. So you're emphasizing the rotation about the vertic vertical axis more than the rotation about the forward backward axis. Mm -hmm. okay. So when that happens, you're turning this way a lot. Yeah. So depending on timing, you can see change in the direction quite a bit. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so basically what happens is in the backswing, as you turn, what your right leg does is, as you turn, it's just, just, just going down like this. Mm -hmm. okay. And then as the club moves this way, your body is moving this way. Mm -hmm. I can feel that for sure. Now, if you look at your club motion, club head motion here, it's moving fairly away from the body like this. Mm -hmm. Instead, it's of, supposed to be back instead of keeping closer to your body and then yeah. let it go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you go turn a lot and then you let it go. So, and also in this case, uh, it's, it's uh, hard to get a good timing here because your body is already moving this way mm -hmm. and then this is coming down right. like this. Yeah, yeah. I figured I'd ha I have too much for something with my upper body is like too forward at the end. Yes, yeah. your upper body is moving that way quite, quite a bit. And it's, it's because, again, the, the final position of your backswing here, mm -hmm. when you go really flat, you are turning the body unnaturally like this. In order to bring this down, your body has to move that way. Mm -hmm. So somehow you have to bring this a bit steeper here. And then you, you should not cross uh, this plane here. The swing plane is passing through the middle section of the body, right. middle section of the trunk. So if um, you connect the, where the ball is and the, your middle section of the trunk here, this is the swing plane, typical swing plane. Mm -hmm. So if the club moves along that plane, uh, actually it has to come down that way, right? Mm -hmm. And then when, imagine you are swinging back and forth continuously then basically the club is moving along the string plane. Mm -hmm. So in this here, if you keep going this way, then the club should be here. But instead, what happens is, as you turn your body. Am I turning my body too much versus my arms? Yeah, you're, you're, the, the arms are going back here. So you're turning your body too much. And it is because it's not supported by the right leg. What happens is, as you turn, you're flexing and lowering the body. Instead of 
if you push the ground with the right leg, then you go to this position. And then particularly when you push the ground good with the right leg and they have a knee extension, uh -huh. that you cannot turn too much this way here. That's why I must have a high ball flight like when I start. I have a seven and a half degree head because I'm getting so... The ball flight is, a, it depends on the, the, the face, uh, the direction the face is, uh, you know, because aligned. Because the weight was high last year, high for years. Mm. But the, the bottom line is that your back swing is a severely inward. Yeah. That dictates everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you want to address, if you want to change the swing pattern, mm -hmm. the earlier the better. That means that you have to start with the beginning of the back swing. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But um, because your uh, legs are relatively quiet, then what happens is you try to create this turn using the upper body. That's why you go to this pattern here. But if you have active right leg, mm -hmm. then shift and then pushing the ground, then you're going to this position. So when the right leg is active here, mm -hmm. you cannot turn excessively here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not possible. Okay? So we have to engage the right leg, okay. right leg more in the back swing. Will it make me kind of taller through, like, through the Here, side? you have to feel taller here. Instead of, instead of going down here. Yeah. So instead of the pelvis rotating flat here, mm -hmm. if you push the ground so that your right leg is extended, mm -hmm. then you'll feel that this side is going up and you'll feel more taller here at the top here. This will automatically limit the rotation of the pelvis. Mm -hmm. So you will have a reasonable uh, rotation. You also have this uh, the so-called lateral tilt. So right side stays high, left side goes down. Right. This way here. And then with that, you're simply having the club up here mm -hmm. instead of behind here. So this will be a big challenge here. Mm -hmm. Keeping the arm here instead of here. It sounds easier because it's less work, it sounds like. <laughs> and uh, always, so always it's important to have uh, the right image. Yes. You can only change things when you have the right image. Yeah. If you don't know where you are going, yeah. it's hard to uh, totally. yeah, achieve that position, right? Mm -hmm. so, so generally, that's why in the step drills, mm -hmm. I use the trigger motion here. By using this, and then when you have an active motion, this will continue here. Yeah. Instead of here, trying to go this way, if you continue this motion, the club will go, come up here. So you know you have to use the trigger motion to practice this, yeah. and also when the arm is the right arm is here, mm -hmm. no need to move the body this way and then try to bring this down. From here you will just be able to throw the arms and club. Yeah. So the final arm position in the backswing, which is caused by the flat backswing, yeah. these are actually dictating what you do in the downswing. So we'll have to uh, change the way you start the back swing. Mm -hmm. But this habit is uh, hard to break. Mm -hmm. And this is what I have uh, you know, seen. Those who are having really flat back swing, it's hard to get mm -hmm. away from uh, this. But I had one situation. I gave him two uh, choices. So let's say if you have a flat back swing, and then usually when uh, uh, golfers have a flat back swing, and then it's, uh, it's low in the flat back here, then they tend to come inside here and they try to throw the club that way. Yeah, I've done that correctly. Okay. <laughs> and then, so in order to fix this problem, yeah. either you bring the arms a bit higher here during the back swing, uh -huh. this is one thing, or still from the same position, just to let the club go around your body more instead of dropping this down here. So I gave him uh, two choices. And he said, oh, I think this will be easier. Yeah. And he just changed the, yeah, yeah. changed the right away because he had the, the two choices and he chose this one here. And some better than this. Yeah, and then he had uh, the right image and then he, he couldn't make it. So again, it's all about having the right image. Well, I noticed, because I've watched a bunch of your videos, mm. if I have that transition, if I pause there, it helps it a lot. It must give more on playing. Yeah. 
But currently, currently, the way you go like this here, it is hard to do anything in the downstream. I must be pretty good then with that crap. <laughs> <laughs> and considering your, considering your current uh, handicap, it's like a yeah, it's a, actually a, a so wonder. Like, it's a wonder. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> I have good timing or something. Yeah. <laughs> so we need to, um, so are you a good dancer? Yes. Oh, okay, so this is a positive side. This is easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll uh, dance a little bit. Okay. And particularly in doing this, you have to learn how to use your right leg and then mm -hmm. push the ground and then try to reach high, stand, standing tall here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this motion here. Yeah. This is really important. So let's practice this. Okay. First, the keep the arms against your chest here. And then, so shift left. And then shift the right. You shift to the left, you shift to the right, and then instead of having a lot of turn, just to, just to try to shift reasonably. Shift to the left, shift to the right, shift to the left, and then shift to the right. So in doing this, what you have to, what you, what you have to uh, start doing this is, as you shift, lower that side a little bit. So if you are shifting to the right, mm -hmm. that allow your body to go down slightly so that you can have a flexed, flex the knee, mm -hmm. then in the second stage, push it. Mm -hmm. Then you'll be able to bring the hip up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, it's so like that. this is the dance here. <laughs> so for the moment, let's do this. Shift and then push, shift and 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 push. So what you are lacking is that push. Mm -hmm. uh, phase here. So mm -hmm. yeah, always when you shift, they try to uh, flex the knee mm -hmm. right. slightly and then you can push, right? right? So I must be just staying flexed the whole time. And then you, <laughs> you, you, no, you chose to turn this way and all the leg can do is just uh, flexing a little bit and then stay here. I stay here. Takeaway was not long enough. Yeah. So the key, the key is this pushing. Mm -hmm. With the pushing, and then your, your right hip will move up during the back swing. I need to think about my hands higher. Well, let's, let's not worry about this for the moment. Okay. okay? So you keep it here. Mm -hmm. But if the, the legs are moving properly, mm -hmm. then you only have certain choices that you can do with the arms. Okay. So already it will uh, narrow down the, yeah. Okay. Exactly, yeah. Yes, you are a good dancer. <laughs> Okay, so here, <laughs> this time now we'll add the turn more rigorously. Okay. But that turn is coming from the push action. Mm -hmm. So, shift the left here, shift the right, then now it's flexed, the right knee is flexed, right? Mm -hmm. As you push the ground and then bring the right hip up, you add this turn motion here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the turn is coming from the leg push, right? So, yeah, always when you try to use the legs, then you have to use the knee flexing extension. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. This is good. This is good. Yes. Yeah. So without even using the arms, you can generate a, a lot of uh, body motion by doing this. Mm -hmm. So imagine you are holding something in front of you. If you keep your hands here, but still by using the body motion alone, you have this much motion. Yeah. Then add a little bit of arm motion here. Right. Then you'll be able to increase the range of motion. Okay. okay. So instead of trying to swing this back like this, just the shift and then push. And then you will just have the right arm right here. Then the, the arm will go a bit higher mm -hmm. than going flat backward. Okay. So again, so this time we'll do this continuously. Shift the left, the right. Push, push turn, push turn, push turn, push turn, push turn, push turn, push turn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Yes, this is the rhythmic motion. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, you need to generate. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then when the legs are active, mm -hmm. then the whole rhythm is dictated by the leg actions. Mm -hmm. So your upper body cannot go against it. It's just gonna fall yeah. and go. Because you're still, your right leg is pushing and going this way, and you try to swing this way. It doesn't make sense, right? right. 
It's simply uh, impossible. Right. So you have to wait until this push is completed, then you have more time here. Also, this push will give you slight recentering motion automatically. Mm -hmm. Then you're ready to go down. Yeah. Okay. So now put the arms down here. Mm -hmm. The same thing. Push, push, turn, 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 push, turn. Instead of bringing uh, this arm back here, mm -hmm. keep them almost together. Oh. Yeah, almost together. Okay. And so turn, you, and then shoot the left and then turn. Hmm. Yeah. So or, because, because you will keep the arm pretty much in front of your body. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So without using the arms that much, Simply using the body, you already have this much arm motion here. Yeah. So you have this much range of motion. Yeah. And then if you add a, just the elbow flexion at the end, right. then that's it. That's Instead it. of trying to bring this old baby. Mm. <laughs> and you will feel that your posture is really uncomfortable. <laughs> it's uh, awkward, right? Yeah. It's because uh, when you feel awkward, that means you have excessive uh, force buildup somewhere. Mm -hmm. And your body senses it. They're telling you that oh, something is not right. Mm -hmm. That's why you feel awkward. Mm -hmm. So the best is to spread out the, all the motion mm -hmm. through uh, the entire body. Mm -hmm. So all the joints will be uh, right. uh, in, in participation. Yeah. That each joint will have a reasonable range of motion yeah. required. Right? right. So then you don't have to have excessive motion of a given joint mm -hmm. because all joints are working together. Mm -hmm. So again, so now here, and also the accent is a push and then bring the hip up, up and then you create this turn motion, right. okay? So here, left push and turn, right push and turn, left push turn, right turn, left to turn, right turn, left to turn, right turn, left to turn, and right turn. Yes. And then as you do that, now let's add the elbow motion. So if you are turning this way, push and the turn and then bring the Bring the elbow here. Okay. So it's not going backward, not going down like this. It's here. Yeah. Almost like keeping the upper arm flat here. Right, okay. like that. So and here you have this left arm here. And here, right arm is here. Left arm here. Right arm here. And let's continue. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Push up, push up, push up, push up, push up. Yeah. This is, this is what you need to feel mm -hmm. at the end of the back swing. It feels, yeah, like it's swinging up here. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, so we'll go a bit bigger here. So here, let's say you have a switch here, mm -hmm. a switch here. So your goal is turn and then by pushing, you stand tall and then Touch the switch, yeah, and then bring it down, and then touch the switch, touch the switch, touch the switch, touch, reach it out and touch, reach out and touch, reach out and touch, reach out and touch. Yes. So in order to do this, what should happen is you have to push the ground with the leg by mm -hmm. extending the knee, mm -hmm. then the hip will move up and slightly backward, mm -hmm. with that you will turn your body and then you simply throw the arms to reach the mm -hmm. switch. So mm -hmm. this is uh, the fundamental motion pattern here, okay? Mm. Instead of turning and going down here. This is a lot of work. Yeah, push, and then <laughs> up here, up here. And then as you emphasize the push action, then you will have a more rigorous turn. Turn, turn, turn. Keep the arms together. Turn, turn, turn. OK. So that's it. So now we'll make this uh, continuous. Then we'll swing several times. I will say swing, swing, swing. And then I will start counting. One, two. Three, wind up, swing. Okay. Okay. So here, 
Swing, 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 push up, swing. One, two, three, wind up, let it go. So, on your own. Swing, swing, one, two, three, wind up, let it go. Yeah. Now, the, the overall flow is really good. But one thing I see here is, this is a sort of a precaution. Mm -hmm. But when you bring the arms down, instead of shifting the body and then dropping like this, you really have to throw the arms in front of your body. Throw in front of your body instead of coming, coming down like this. Yeah. So drop a little bit and then throw in front of your body. Throw in front of your body. Hmm. Yes. That's where you actually use your lower body. So by using the legs, throw this. Throw this in, yeah, instead of bringing this down. And then when you, when you want to swing faster, mm -hmm. then you kick the ground hard. That's easy. When, stay, yeah, from here, if you use the legs more rigorously, throw. Yeah. Here, throw here, throw here. Throw. It's, it's not from, coming from the yeah. arm action, right. but the, the leg action will promote that. Right. Okay. So again, down here. So one, two, relax. Three, one, swing, swing, one, two, three, wind up, let it go. So that's the, that's the flow. Again, yeah, your arms, you can feel the, like the motion going on. Mm. So your body will basically uh, cause this motion. You don't have to do anything intentionally. Mm -hmm. And in this here, there's no such a thing, such a thing called this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So at best, the, the arms will move in front of your body and go about up here. If you reach, then still the arm is here. Let it go and then reach the arm over here. So the arms are basically moving in front of uh, this plane here. Yeah. But it never goes below that. Mm -hmm. okay? So now the question is, when you use the club, whether you can do that or going back to your old habit. That's the key. However, if you awaken your right leg and if your right leg is pushing up with this pushing action and then going backward, this is almost impossible. Mm -hmm. When you have push up and then your arm will come here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it'll make it a bit easier. Okay? So now let's go to the rope swing. So it is important to have good image. Okay? Yes. And the, your image, that this is a plane here. Mm -hmm. You don't allow your, your hands to go below that okay. in the back swing. So it should be in front of, either on the plane on or the in front of the plane. Yeah. Right? So up here is in front of the plane. Here is in front of the plane. And all the way down, the hand will come down to the swing plane. Mm -hmm. so, and then in front, swing and in front. Mm -hmm. So now. Let's swing the rope back and forth. Mm -hmm. Whoa, is that really you? <laughs> I can do it without a club. <laughs> so, I notice I'm doing it because I have a lot one of these. It's around my neck more versus. So the reason why it goes to the neck is because you start flat here. <laughs> it comes flat and then hit your back here, mm -hmm. and it climbs up to your neck. Okay. But if this side is higher, it, stops and drops. Yeah, it goes directly to uh, this direction here. Got it. But now it's a lot better. So uh, again, using your, your legs, dance and swing. All right, 
Swing, 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 swing. Yeah, the, the speed of the rope is really good. So because of that, you have a really consistent string plane here. Right. Okay, so let me record this. Again, make sure you have good dance with yeah, the. Uh, you don't have to worry about this one here. Okay. Just for the moment, the more pay attention yep. to the, the, okay. the dance. And then particularly when you go low and then push, that means that you have a bit of up and down motion, right? Mm -hmm. So that's uh, the key. Okay. That will give you good rhythm. So ready, go. Swing, swing. Swing, 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 swing. Yeah. So now you see how uh, consistent your swing pattern is. Good. Am I still dipping like crazy, or is that okay? Still, it's, it's a, a bit uh, flat here. But since now your legs are more active, mm -hmm. you're pushing up and pushing up here. Mm -hmm. So this will give you a, a, the overall good control of what you're doing here. Yeah. And then in doing this, when you push the ground so that your shoulders, your body turn, then have a good turn here. So your goal is to continue the turn instead of already try to uh, turn back. Mm -hmm. So by pushing the ground, when the right leg is active and when you push the ground, your main intention is to keep good wind all the way here, mm -hmm. instead of already try to worry about uh, the downswing motion. Mm -hmm. So by pushing the ground, as we did this is a reaching motion, mm -hmm. in, in order to reach and then touch the switch, there's no such a thing called the pulling here. It's just the pushing all the way up here. The same thing in the back swing by using the leg, try to go all the way up here, good wind up, and then let it go, and then this here. So always your goal is to go this way more and then this way more instead of try to quickly change the direction. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the turn, give additional wind up mm -hmm. both ways so that your shoulder never stops. It's a continuous motion. Mm, and this, and then mm, mm, mm. it's continuously turning instead of turn, stop, and then turn, stop. So currently, currently this side is a bit higher, mm -hmm. this side is a bit lower here. Mm -hmm. Now let's go the other way. So keep it a bit lower on this side and try to go a bit higher. Okay. Again, this is a matter of your image here. If you want to go here, then it's a, you're reaching out high here, but not that high here. Mm -hmm. But if you change the image, then you yes. reach a high here and then go a bit flatter, Indeed. high up and then flatter. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But overall, you have changed this quite a bit. So now the motion is a lot more consistent, and I don't see excessive motion uh, here. Yeah, particularly because now your right leg is pushing up here. With this action, yeah. it's really difficult to go this way. Right. So still, it's a bit flatter here, but this is what's allowed it here. Yeah, your the up, leg straightening yeah. stops. Up motion, straight. and then you have a little bit of allow, allowance here. So within that, so it's okay. Right. okay. This time, try to swing a bit harder, so make it faster. faster. But you don't rush at the transition have enough time here and also enough time there. Okay? Okay. But make the rope a bit faster.
Mm. Now, in order to swing a bit harder, the, what's the key? The pause. <laughs> no, no, no. In order, in, order to, in order to make the rope a bit faster, the kick. Legs, yeah. yeah. So use the legs more rigorously. Okay. It's not about, not from your arms, but kick the ground, the kick the ground. Swing, 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 swing. Oh, that back swing is really good. Swing, swing. Whoa, is it really you? I got a lot of power here. <laughs> I just need to learn how to yeah. use it. Yeah, it's a totally different circle with it higher in the back. Huh. In my head, I was thinking John Rom, low, high. <laughs> some, of the, some of the PJ Tour players, they are actually bad examples. Yeah, they are. They're extremes. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> so, uh. now, if you look at the, generally the way you move your body. Yeah, it looks like my upper back should hurt. <laughs> and it does. <laughs> I notice like something here, yeah, with my neck. That's what drives me crazy. So I'm wondering, it's because I'm turning probably wrong, so it's stretching. Yeah, because this is just turning like this. I'm trying there. to keep looking at the ball, and my whole body is going the other way. Yeah. But now, <laughs> if you look at the, the motion rhythm here, this, this is very different. Particularly, this is now about here. Yeah. I'm not going back here. I forgot in the middle of it. I started going opposite. <laughs> look, at this. look at this. I was like, which way is supposed to go higher? <laughs> so this is okay. As you repeat this motion, yeah. you will find a comfortable uh, plane. Yeah. So without consciously trying to uh, control this, mm -hmm. you will naturally find reasonable mm -hmm. plane mm -hmm. as long as your legs are active. Right. Okay, so uh, now let me record from this direction. Okay, ready, go. go. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Yeah, it's kind of work like I can see my hips are working back or like not this as much. This is good. So overall flow is really good. Yeah. Then later when we use the club, then we will work on something. Uh, currently, on the way down, you tend to lower the body and then going up here. But what happens is actually lowering should be done this way. Instead of opening and the lowering, mm -hmm. just the shifting and the lowering, mm -hmm. and then just a turn. So weird that that's what does it works. I've just, never thought. <laughs> just a turn. So instead of oh, both ways, it's the same. But instead of turning and then lowering and then going up, going up like this, here and then the ship then lower the body mm -hmm. and then turn by pushing. So turn is more more yeah, emphasized here. Turn, turn from the leg. Okay? Mm -hmm. so from here and then turn. Mm -hmm. From here and then turn. From here and turn. So turn is more active, so the accent is right there. Mm -hmm. Push and then turn. Mm -hmm. So instead of just opening the lower body and then going up and then lowering this yeah. and then going up instead of this, yeah. you go up here and then shift and then lower mm -hmm. and turn, shift and lower and turn, shift and lower. Mm -hmm. So delay opening of the chest. That's the, the idea. Mm -hmm. right. So when you start the downswing, mm -hmm. your back is toward the target like this, right? Mm -hmm. From here, you are just shifting and then lowering the left side a little bit, and then mm -hmm. by kicking the ground and then turn. Mm -hmm. And then also when you shift it to the right here, yeah. by pushing it and turn here. Mm -hmm. So instead of equally, equal accent, down and up, down and up, like this, but rather, yeah. down, up, down, up, a down, a up, down, up, down, yeah. mm -hmm. up, that, that up motion comes with the turn at the same time. Okay. So the down motion is uh, somewhat subtle, mm -hmm. and then you are focusing on the up motion. Mm -hmm. So the accent is at up. Mm -hmm. 
Okay? Up, up, and then between the ups, you automatically have go down. But that down is not coming from opening at the same time, but rather right. that down is coming from the shift motion, right. naturally, and then push. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind, and then again swing. Mm -hmm. Yes, now I can see you are emphasizing the turn by using the leg action. Yes. This is where the speed is coming from. Okay. If you just uh, try to open and then going down this motion here, you cannot really have an active turn. But you go here and load the bar and then let it go, lower and then let it go, let it go. Then you can really put the, mm. the effort and then turn fast, turn fast. Yeah, when I hit my longest drive, the, my face has come off. Like, uh, so, so I can't look at it. Mm -hmm. So again, the emphasis, the accent is at the push. And then with that, turn actively, turn actively, turn actively, turn actively. Turn. Yes. That's a lot better motion here. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Now the, the, the sound is very different. The whipping sound is very different. Mm -hmm. So this is the key. Again, it comes from this one here, basically. With this reaching action, you have to use your legs and push the ground right. and bring the hip up, up, and then up here. Up, 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 up. Hmm. Okay? So this is the overarching rhythm or the shun mm -hmm. dance, shift to turn dance. So mm -hmm. practices a lot. Mm -hmm. People may... Uh, Say something. What is she doing? <laughs> I've when you, talked about when you do everybody. this, and then what's wrong with that? <laughs> and they will say, "Oh, this is uh, what's called the shun dance." <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah. Okay. So the rope swing worked really well. Yeah, this is yeah. this is yours. And then the next one is, let's go with the orange whip. So we'll start with the the short one first. Again, let me emphasize this. It's a re reasonably well balanced here. Mm -hmm. I like this. Mm -hmm. Some products uh, have uh, too much weight yeah. on the head, yeah. so it dictates the whole uh, swing pattern. I don't like it. So, but this was better balanced. Now, imagine this is a, a rope. Mm -hmm. Then, at the end of the turn, mm -hmm. you expect to uh, expect the rope to come down this way, mm -hmm. and then so although the whip will stop about here but you just use this image that, that the rope is coming in here. Yeah. Okay, so give that much time. Mm -hmm. Emphasize the push action, so the accent is at the up, up motion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let me record this, then you will see where your, your arm or your hands, your hands end up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. Swing, 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 swing. Emphasize the turn, swing, swing. Keep good, wind up and let it go. Good, wind up and let it go. Good, wind up, let it go, yes. Let it go, oh, very good. All right, here. Yeah, yeah you, are, you, are, you are getting stabilized. So, um. That's a good workout, jeez. Swing, but toward, toward the end, you have better orchestrated motion. Let it go, let it go. I see. I started to go swing more. Let it go. Oh, very good. Let it go here. So you go here, mm, and then let it go, mm, and then let it go. Right. Yeah. And then this is a major deviation from your swing pattern. <laughs> so later, when I uh, record it from here, okay. then you will see that. But uh, yeah, so let's uh, record from here. OK. 
Go. Swing. 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 Yeah. So now it's a lot more rhythmic here. Am I still like too forward at the end? No, no, no. Okay. It's because uh, this is heavier. Right. So you have to move a bit more. But this is okay. This motion is very different from your previous, <laughs> previous one here. So in, in your original swing, from here, you already let, let the club go away from your body. Yeah. But with this, you don't have that. So I'm, dr it's, I'm letting it come down. Yeah, it's more drawing, drawing a sword from the shit. Do you, what do you call that? Throwing a sword? Just yeah, drawing, drawing a sword uh, from the shit. So, oh, like that. So okay. going this way instead of... <laughs> yeah. Yes, again. I've heard you talk to people about that. You see, you try to swing hard with this motion here. Mm -hmm. But uh, now with this... You just bring it down. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. And then swing through. I see other people get stuck. I can't see myself. <laughs> One yeah. of those things I can see it in everybody else. Yeah. And then at the end, you will just let the head go a bit more down. It's okay. So okay. Uh, you go easy on, on your wrist. So that let it go down a little bit. No need to uh, hold it here. Okay. So now let's go to uh, the, a bit longer one here. So this is the short one. And then this is, um, this is called the compact, and then this is the mid-sized one. Mm -hmm. Now, this is longer, so it's a bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. okay? That means also you have to use your body and then have good timing. Right. Unless you use the big muscles here, it's hard to uh, swing this. Mm -hmm. If you just use the arms, it's really tough. <laughs> so you have to use the body and then swing. Mm -hmm. okay? So swing back and forth. Mm -hmm. this is crazy. <laughs> yes, because it's longer. Yeah. So and then so it's okay to let it go, yeah. let it go down more, and then when you start, when you start the downswing. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, in this position here. Instead of trying to throw it this way, mm -hmm. just to try to pull it along the shaft. Mm -hmm. So this is the the urge you have to fight. Because your initial swing, you had this here, mm -hmm. and you, you, had, you need to fight. Mm -hmm. So that means you have to go a bit easy okay, on your wrist. Then let it go, and then wait enough time, then come down. Right. If you try to come down right away, what happens is the head is going this way. Your hands are forcing the grip to go this way. You have bending here. Mm -hmm. So try to minimize bending here. Mm -hmm. That means you're not fighting. And it will give you good time if you try to minimize it. Yes. Yeah. Just give it. So, uh, yes, no fight. Mm -hmm. Now the right arm is going backward again. So, so what happens is... Uh, what happens is if your right arm is uh, really active and it's going backward, then go up here and then coming back slightly. You have this motion. Mm -mm. Because of that, at the end of the, the backswing, you start moving this way mm -hmm. without putting a lot of effort. So what should happen is you have to wait here, mm -hmm. wait here, and then when this is completed, then using the body, you should have to throw this. Right. Instead, what's happening is you're always coming back slightly with the arm action, and then try to start again. Mm -hmm. So keep it turned this way, all the way, wait here, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't let the, your right arm to pull it down. Mm -hmm. So go here, and then let it go all the way, wait, and then when this is completed, mm -hmm. by using the body and then throw. So particularly at, at the end, no, no fight, okay? Wait, and then in one action, let it go, swing. 
swing, 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 yeah, swing, swing. So you should have the feel of bring, pulling this along the shaft, right? And then let it go. So that gives you additional speed. So the worst, in, the worst in terms of the speed is when you let the club go this way. Yeah. Instead of uh, pulling it from the sword. It's tricky because I'm trying to keep it not way behind. So where's that? But so uh, you let it go all the way. That this is okay from here. Mm -hmm. If you quickly pull this a little bit, then it starts moving this way. And then you have uh, the next stage motion. But instead, keep, just stay here. And the key more shoulder turn here, and in one action, let it go. Okay. So wind up, and in one action, let it go. Yes. Let it go, yeah. So, yeah, so, so at the beginning of the downswing, if you use the right arm, and at the end, if you have right arm, it's just bouncing action, that already is going away from your body a little bit, yeah. and then try to swing. So you have two stage motion and it's too late. So wait until this is go all the way here, maintain this position, yeah. and then prepare your push. body. Mm -hmm. So shifting your body, mm -hmm. and then when you are ready by kicking the ground in, the, in one action, there you go. Right. Yeah, this is a bit heavier for you. That's why uh, it's not that easy to handle, but you are actually handling it real well. Yes. Uh huh. Very good, okay. Swing, swing, it's very good. Swing, swing, yes. Swing, don't fight and work with it, let it go. Swing, yes. So this is really good. So swing plane is good, your timing is good. You are really working with the whip now. So it is, really, it is really important to work with the device you have in your hands, right? Right. And then the physical characteristics of the devices will dictate the tempo and the magnitude of motion and so on. But mm -hmm. you simply play with it. Yes. Yeah. yeah then that's really good because I can feel myself throwing, coming around mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. and not. And particularly when you try to let it go early, then it's hard to control here. Yeah. So in order to have a consistent control, you have to bring this down this way and then let it go here. Yeah. This way. So this is actually a good tool. Um, and because it's heavier than the club, yeah. so uh, you can really feel the motion, mm -hmm. right? All right, so, so we used uh, both the, the rope and the, uh, the orange whip. And then I don't think you need to use the kettlebell because you know how to use the body. I have that at home, yeah. so I do it a little bit. And then before we go to the club, um, let's have the, the balance board. Or the, okay. I, call, I call it the rocking board, but uh, just to make sure that you, have, what you are dancing properly. <laughs> so this is a gift from my friend in Korea. <clears throat> Stand on it. So this will drop as, as soon as more force is acting on that side, right? Mm -hmm. So you can easily drop it both ways. Mm -hmm. And then the key here is once it drops, then push and then turn. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So you can hear that the heavy sound when, you, when it drops. Yeah. Instead of just dropping, you are intentionally shifting and then drop and then kick, drop and kick, drop and kick. So you have a heavy dropping sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that way you can emphasize the push up, 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 up. So dropping is natural. As long as you have more force on one side, it'll drop. Yeah. But the, the real part, <laughs> the real fun comes from pushing and then turning, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Now you have an active leg action to turn, turn, turn. Yes. 
So when we emphasize the push and then turn, this happens. So the accent is at the push, push. Mm -hmm. So your body going up, up. Yeah. So up, 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 mm -hmm. up. Instead of uh, uh, yeah, up, like yeah, that's that's more continuous motion. It's nice, but if you put more emphasis on the up, so we have accent there, then up and up and up. Still, still the connection can be smooth, yeah. but you now more emphasize up. It's up instead of up, up, not like that, but up, up, up. You have the tail here, long exaggerated tail. Yes, yeah. that way you can still have continuous motion. Yes. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I, I think that's what's going to make me more ver or vertical versus horizontal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's important is your ability to push the ground and to bring the hip up. Mm -hmm. With there, you generate good turn mm -hmm. instead of intentionally turning the body. Mm -hmm. Then the lower body becomes uh, more passive here. Yes. So when you tr just to try to turn upper body here versus Low body, and then turn, turn, turn. Mm -hmm. These are very different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So make one. It's easy. Yeah. It's just a cut. A yeah, cut a, a, a board here. No, you can just put the you know okay. a, a wood here, fulcrum here. Mm -hmm. So then uh, it, it doesn't have to be really high here. If it's high, then it's, it can be uh, unstable. Kind of weird, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, it's like less than an mm. inch. And it's, cool. it's quite easy. And then he gave me this in the, <laughs> with the, his uh, autograph and everything. <laughs> and the, this is the old one that I made yeah. many years ago. Oh, so that was the original. Nice. Yeah. So always when you have a good idea, I mean, you can always come up with something that will uh, you know, help you to uh, practice yeah. that, right? Yeah. So now you're familiar with this um, natural uh -huh. up, down, up rhythm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or more, it's an up, up motion, mm -hmm. but we have just a subtle down. Mm -hmm. uh, it's combined with the shift motion. Mm -hmm. okay. And then shift and down and up, shift and down and up, shift and down and up. So we have that. You, that's uh, in, in your system right now. Mm -hmm. Because you are now familiar with it, mm -hmm. you'll always be able to use it. Mm -hmm. And actually, this is a natural pattern. So once you get used to it, there's no way back. Yeah, one, I know one, what my shots look like. <laughs> one, once you tasted this, oh, this is good. Then. I did it because I watched your videos. I started the start implementing that at the mm. end, and I've hit some such easy some <laughs> shots. It was only a couple times. Yeah. Now let's go to, uh, go to the club swing here. So again, this time let's continuously swing back and forth, as if you're holding a rope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, a lot lighter than the orange whip. Yes. <laughs> and it's uh, more rigid. Yeah. It's almost no flexibility. Right. But now, so this is the problem. When we have a uh, rope or the orange whip, because uh, these are flexible, so without your effort, still they will nicely uh, decelerate at the end mm -hmm. because of the bending, right? Mm -hmm. But this is uh, not like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so your body has to allow it to uh, slow down here. And then make sure you have, when the, this is completed, you, you have to be in this position instead of coming quickly here. So go up and drop it here and then maintain this position and then start in one motion, start the downswing. Mm -hmm. So again, image, image that uh, you are reaching out and then touching the switch, touching the switch. Okay. That means uh, in this one, you don't have this pulling motion, right? Mm -hmm. Just a turn and then touch turn and touch, the same thing. In the back swing, mm -hmm. turn and touch. You're going all the way up, all day here. Mm -hmm. And then let it go and then swing up here. Swing in, up, swing in, up. Instead of initial pulling here, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, the arms are going back too much still. <laughs> so make sure that uh, you have uh, about here. So let's go to the top of action. Okay. 
So you see, this this hand is going this way here. Yeah. Instead, keep the keep the hands, turn the shoulder more, and keep the hands in front of your chest here. Okay. This. So you have to keep enough turn. So again, good wind up, and then stay here. This is okay. Now the the arms are in front of the chest. Okay. But if this goes oh, yeah, yeah. I see what you're this way here. Mm -hmm. Then you have to use the right arm. Mm -hmm. Then you are letting the club go up here instead of going this way here. Yeah. So in, in, in doing this, try to feel the motion of the club head. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then on the way down, still you tend to use your arms, but remember the left leg here. So from this position here, you have, as you go here, you have slight recentering. So shift away and then slight recentering, and then finish here. Kick the ground and then throw instead of kick the ground and then throw the mm -hmm. arms here, not up here. Swing, wind up, let it go. Wind up, let it go. Wind up, let it go. Wind up, let it go, yeah. So if you wanna hit hard, then wind up should be what, where you have to put your effort. Yeah. Okay. So instead of try to swing hard here with your arms, right. rather keep good wind up and then push up and then just, so right side is well stretched here. With this position, let it go. Mm -hmm. By using the body and then let it go. Body turn and then throw. So body turn is always the first. So in order to use a good body turn, you have to good wind up, and from the wind up, try to turn the body first mm -hmm. instead of the arm motion. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the, remember the accent, up, up motion, up, 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 up. up. <laughs> so you have this bouncing action at the, at the end. So go up here and the bouncing a little bit and then start the bouncing, but keep it there. Mm -hmm. So you go here, up and then bounce a little bit and then start bouncing. Oh, I see, see. yeah. But keep it all the way here and then in one motion, let it go. Huh. So that means you have to add a subtle uh, you know, turn mm -hmm. so at the end it doesn't, it doesn't bounce back here. Mm -hmm. Yes, in one motion, let it go. Mm. Yeah, so uh, although uh, with that, because I said uh, keep additional turn, so you tend to go a bit more. Yeah, so do I need to go up this way instead of back? Go this up, way. up, and then, but I what? Mean, it already feels like my arms are like this. So what, um, <laughs> what you need to prevent is something like this. Go, go up and then bouncing. Go up and then bounce back and then try to do this. Mm -mm, and then do this. Mm -mm, do this. Instead, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So if you're shooting an arrow, then keep good tension here, right? Aim and tension, and then simply let it go here, instead of mm -mm. <laughs> and then try to let it go. Yeah. So if this comes back here, then you lose the tension. Yeah. So mm -mm. Mm -mm. instead of mm -mm. Mm -mm. and then try to do this. So you have a little bit of bouncing action. It was because of the right arm here. When it goes this much here, 
you have a little bit of bouncing motion here, but it has to stay here, whether it's here or here, but the arm stays there, and then let it go by using the body motion, let it go instead of, and then try to do this. So you have two stages downstream. So make sure the clavette stays at the end, and then let it go. Yes. So one thing will help is uh, just relax a little bit. Okay, relax your wrist. Relax my wrist. Hmm. So if you force the club motion with your arms, yeah. so if your arm is uh, quite uh, uh, resist resistive here, mm -hmm. then it cannot go, so you have this bouncing action. But you let it go. <clears throat> let it go. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. so, and also, when you start, when you start the downswing, do not push the right arm out. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, from time to time, you you do that. So. Uh, Go up here, and then if you push this up, push this, it goes out. Yeah. So stay here, and your goal is to turn the body and then throw. From here, turn the body and throw. Turn the body and throw. You don't do anything like this. So. From here, just to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Instead of this motion, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> try to push, push, but rather wait until this is done and swing through, wait and swing through. I have arthritis, but I got medication today, so I'm going to take the, the painkiller. <laughs> It'll be a bit better. So, a little bit uh, easy arms, go, go to the top here. So, if you go this position here, this is not uh, that comfortable, so you have to use this early. Mm -hmm. So make sure you have a, so try to go up and then push, by, to push the body and then keep a bit higher up here. Mm -hmm. And then you can go here. Mm -hmm. So instead of dropping the elbow right, here, right. try to keep, keep it, it horizontal. More like this. Keep it horizontal. So it never goes too, too down this way here. Mm -hmm. then because this is awkward, you have this motion here. Yeah. But if it, so you can uh, practice this. When you let your arms go here, in here, if you go below a certain level, then on the way down, this has to yeah, be done. But above certain level, then you don't have to do that. So simply let it go. Yeah. Simply let it go. But if you go below here, then you have this motion. Mm -hmm. And then let the color mm -hmm. move away. So you have to get rid of that. Mm. So as you repeat this again and again, and have a little, uh, relax your arms a little bit, wrist a little bit, mm -hmm. and then feel the motion of the club. Let the club go all the way. Don't fight here. Let the club go all the way and then swing. Let it go and then swing. So ease, easy uh, in your wrist and uh, your arms a little bit. Feel the motion of the, feel the motion of the club. Yes. And uh, typically when you have a tight right arm, then what happens is during the backswing, you don't have a good slowdown here. Mm -hmm. So keep going and then suddenly stopped by uh, mm -hmm. the arm here. Keep going and then stopped by the right arm. Mm -hmm. But if the whole motion starting from here, accelerate here, mm 
but then from here decelerate and then stop here. If the motion is uh, decelerating and the stopping, it's easy, but To fast then also, you are not slowing down that way. So in your image, you have to have a speed up here, slow down nicely and finish this position. Mm -hmm. Instead of keep going and then suddenly stop the by the right arm. Mm -hmm. okay. So at the end of the at the end of the backswing. If the clavet nicely stops, then it stops here. And then swing, swing. You don't have to fight. But if it goes too fast, in order to stop this, you're using your arms. Then because of that, you have a bouncing action. So this happens. But if you let it go and then sm slow down the vaccine motion and then stop here, it doesn't give you that, you go too fast and then hold it, then you have this bouncing action. Yeah, yeah this is what happens. Okay. This, this uh, happens quite often when you have a flat back swing and then strong right arm. Yeah, have nice, slow down, let it go, yes. Still, it's a bit too fast and then you have a sudden stop here. So that's why when you use only, let's say, uh, three fingers or four fingers, mm -hmm. so release the pinky, mm -hmm. then you cannot manipulate the club that well, mm -hmm. even with the three each, mm -hmm. uh, because of my pain in the middle finger. So uh, it's a tough one. So I will use the four fingers each, mm -hmm. just releasing the pinky. And if you don't force the, uh, the club mm -hmm. to move certain ways by using the wrist, and then just to feel the motion here, it will nicely stop here. It will really relax the hand. But if you hold it, <laughs> yeah. particularly this is a tight, the right arm is close to your body, tight here. Mm -hmm. At the end, sudden stop by the arms, then it will give a bouncing action. Mm. But easy and let it go. Mm -hmm. Easy and let it go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the overall the swing motion is the, <laughs> a lot smoother. So this is good. I should work on the plane first, right? Like yeah, so the, the plane is well established now. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a stiffer than uh, your initial uh, mm -hmm. back swing. So this is good, but still, because you have an active right arm, what happens is a turn with this here, the let it go and then stop at the end. Mm -hmm. That's why you have this bouncing action. Mm -hmm. It's a typical for those uh, who, have, uh, who used to have a flat back swing and then really strong right arm, stiff right arm. Then go up and then bouncing action here. Okay. Instead of nicely. So this is where you have the most speed. Mm -hmm. mm, and then slow down here. Mm -hmm. But if you keep forcing the motion here, Keep adding force here, then yeah. this happens. So, mm, and then slow down. Mm, and slow down. Oops. Yeah, here. So. So what happens is uh, when you go f uh, back in the back swing, so from here, when you go back, initially just come down here and then you try to start back swing from here, here actively. But if you go from here, let this go here, let it go in the slow. The same thing, all the way down, the same thing. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, instead of It's always going to be more from the legs. Mm. And then you use the leg, but the, if you put too much effort here, using the arms, then it goes and you have to stop it abruptly. Mm -hmm. So actually you have to bring it here nicely, 
using this momentum, try to bring it. Yes, that's exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so overall, overall, you have the whole motion here. Then acceleration, then deceleration, acceleration and deceleration, acceleration, deceleration. The whole motion here. Then you have a gradual acceleration, nice deceleration. Instead of go over there, suddenly you have a, almost a stopping motion. Mm -hmm. And particularly, it's hard. I can feel it go like, like it's setting out there. And particularly, you you have a strong arms, so uh, you try to use the arms. That's that's can okay. My thumb? Now, now, so we'll go to uh, the step drills, step okay. drills, okay. and in the step drills, the key is using the trigger motion. Mm -hmm. The trigger motion means you're throwing the club toward the target. Actually, by using the trigger motion, you are making a strong statement. I'm going to hit the ball in your way, okay? Mm -hmm. be, be prepared. <laughs> mm, they bring it back and then swing. Mm, bring it back and swing. So, from the trigger motion, before the trigger motion is completed, you'll shift that way. Shift comes with the lowering of the right side. Mm -hmm. So, toward the end of this, you're shifting, and then lowering of this side, Using that, kicking the ground, and then bring it up. Mm -hmm. So uh, use your regular stance. So this is stage three, okay, no step, but uh, use the trigger motion. Yes. Ah, uh, nice, nice. The, the, the floor is nice. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So in doing this, essentially, there's no reason to fight anything. Mm -hmm. All you do is using the trigger motion and introduce the shift motion at the lower this side. Push the ground and then stand up here. Mm -hmm. Push. Then at the end of this, you will have a recentering motion. Mm -hmm. When the body goes this way, then lower this side. Mm -hmm. So. Mm, you lower this side and then let it go. So overall, the follow is now really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you still, you have tendency of moving the body yeah. this way. I need to figure out how like, that's supposed to ah, do So that. go up and have a good wind up, and on the way down. On the way down, it's just a matter of uh, kicking the ground and then turning around. Right. Okay. But if this goes uh, up here and then you t move this way here, but keep it here, be, uh, the club here, wind up and then you have uh, recentering. From this point on, as you start the downswing, kick the ground and just turn around. In the downswing, no need to move the upper body this way. Right. Actually, it has to go the opposite way. So the recentering is completed during the backswing. I don't need to help it anymore. Oh. <laughs> Throw it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is really this is really good. This is really good. Your motion pattern, as long as it does not cause any structural issues. So uh, by moving this and try to pull this hard, yeah. then you can have a bad hooks. Okay. I do. But uh, if you uh, go away from that, mm -hmm. just uh, by throwing the, the, the arms and club toward the target here, even if your body moves slightly, a nest is uh, coming this way. Remember, you had uh, this push action here. Yeah. With that, you went this way. Mm -hmm. That was the excessive motion. Mm -hmm. But now, with this, and if your body moves slightly, it's, it's very different. So use the trigger good and then active. Yes. 
Yes. No, it looks really good. Okay. Now the, the shape is really good. So all you remember is that with the trigger and then at the end of the trigger motion, you will shift and then lower this side. So right uh, knee will be bent, right? From here, pushing this action. Mm, and then push and then bring it back. If uh, you can do this well, then everything goes really well. So really, later when we um, migrate from swing, mm -hmm. the key is this way. Mm -hmm. So even in the regular swing, if you can lower this and then push, mm -hmm. lower this slightly, then that means you have a shift and then lowering slightly, and the push and then start back swing. If you can do this, then you have really nice migration from stage three to your regular. So again, stage three. But currently, stage three, as we repeat the stage three, try to use the right leg more in the back swing. Okay. Using the trigger and then shift away. Yes. Now, so with this, when you start the downswing, try to keep the back toward the target. So just keep it towards what? Towards the target. Back, yeah, back toward the target. So keep it this way uh -huh. and then start the Okay. The downswing. Not so instead of quickly opening. So go, you don't have to turn more, but right. just to stay here and, and then when you start and then let it go instead of. I gotta stay close. <laughs> yes. Then now what happens is if you keep the shoulders closed then your swing plane is well aligned toward the target. It's not going this way. <laughs> yeah. no, no need to worry about pulling it this way. Yeah. Okay. Now the stage three looks really good. So let me record this. You don't have to swing hard because uh, this, this may be a too many swings, but try to feel the flow. Okay. It's, a, it's a matter of developing good the pattern here. Okay, stage three, ready, stage three, go. Okay, ready, stage three, go. So now you will see that you still have a too much body turn up here. Yeah. So particularly from the front view here. You see? Mm -hmm. So your arm is almost going that way. But this the overall flow is now a lot better. So uh, mm -hmm. you are so maintaining a little bit of your older swing but uh, the way you are moving the body is very different. Mm -hmm. So you're not throwing it away from your body. Mm -hmm. Even if you go this far here, still more, you're going this way here. Yeah. Mm. Look at this. It does look stiff up there, my hands. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one way to fix this problem. So let's, let's, uh, let's do that right, uh, right of this. Now, if we go back to your initial swing, yeah, it's, a, it's a, like a backwards tempo, or like a it's, it's, super fast backwards. Yeah, really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Ew, my neck. <laughs> I knew there's some. It's because my arm's doing something weird, so my neck moves to get out of the way. Mm. Now, in order to prevent the excessive rotation of the arms here, what you can do is you can use your wrist here. Okay. So at the end of the, at the end of the back swing, mm -hmm. add the wrist motion here. Mm, and then add the wrist motion here. Yeah, you do that. Mm. Wrist motion here. Yeah. So if you allow the wrist motion at the end, then even if you have a fairly good motion of the club, your hands are still here. Right. So add the in so intentional wrist motion. Intentional wrist motion and then finish. Instead of turning the whole body and then going this position here, this is what you're doing. But if you add the wrist motion at the end here, yeah. using early is not good. Right. But let it go and then add the wrist motion here intentionally, then you don't have to turn your arms too much. So mm. add the wrist motion at the end. 
So always, when you do the backswing, initially body drives the backswing, mm -hmm. and then add arm motion, and then add wrist motion at the end. Mm -hmm. So try to intentionally use the wrist a little bit at the end. Uh, this time you stopped and then just did. You, you went a lot flatter in order to use the wrist. Mm -hmm. But still go a bit higher and then And then still, the, it's a bit abrupt stop here. Mm -hmm. and so when you use the pronation supination mm -hmm. of the arm nicely, and then the club moves like this, okay, with that, you can add the wrist motion easily. Instead of go all the way here and then try to do this. So nicely from here, add the pronation supination of the forearm, and then wrist motion right. here. So then when you feel the motion of the club head, mm here, mm here, mm here, mm here, mm here, you can use the wrist reasonably. But if you go too far, you cannot handle this because so yeah, the motion is too fast there. And then you have, you have abrupt stop, then you have bouncing action. Yeah. Yes, that's better. So, oh, that's better. Yeah, so that means that you have to relax your wrist a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and also one way to prevent excessive motion of the body this way in the downswing is you use your wrist here. Right. So always have the image that uh, there is a sticker here. Yeah, you want to shake it off. But you are lazy enough to uh, just reach out and then <laughs> take it off. Yeah. So you try to shake it off by swinging the head mm -hmm. both ways. Okay. Or up here, use the wrist and on the way down, shake it off. Shake it off. When you use the wrist here toward the end, near the impact, mm -hmm. then you don't have to move the body a lot mm -hmm. when you start using the wrist. So keep a little bit more wrist motion. Yes. <laughs> that is so a bit flatter, but this is okay because now you are letting it go. So actually your hands stop about here. This is good. Mm -hmm. so if the hands go too high, then you feel unstable. Mm -hmm. right. so, but you go here and then now let the wrist go here. Mm -hmm. So your arm is a fairly located uh, compact mm -hmm. to the body. Yes. Well, all I'm doing is like I make it feel like my shoulder should stay down and not like this. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Yeah. So particularly when you let, let the wrist go, then it's easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, with, with that uh, easy wrist motion, the whole motion looks a lot more comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my wrist you did this. <laughs> You put a lot of effort there, but now, so when you start using the wrist, then you have this motion here, added wrist motion. Yeah, I do it with the mm. stuff. It's yeah, because that's heavier, so uh, it yeah. automatically does. You cannot resist. Mm -hmm. Now this is lighter, so you try to dominate this. Mm -hmm. But then you have uh, one finger off or two fingers off, and then feel the motion of the club head, then you have to let it go mm -hmm. and add the wrist motion so that you don't have to put a lot of effort. Right. You can easily handle this right. by allowing this. The same thing here. Both here. Swing. 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 Okay. Without forcing the club. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But still, you can swing fairly well. So again, easy wrist. Yes. <laughs> now try to put more effort. Try to swing harder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks so effortless. Okay.
Look at this. Look at this. My head look better. <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, you have uh, you know, tension here. Oh, I'm so tight. Look at this. My shoulders. It looks pretty simple. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah, I just think about keeping my shoulders down. So now here. <laughs> my head just looks a mess. Look at this. Yeah, I knew there's like something connected here going on. Now this, the motion is a lot smoother, right? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Okay, and then. I was trying to hit the ball with my neck. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me uh, record the state three again. So relax and keep a wrist in motion. Use the whole body. Not the, the worst case, the most inefficient swing is you don't have a sufficient wrist cock. Mm -hmm. And then try to make it this whole thing as one unit and then try to swing hard. <laughs> so you go back really hard and then try to swing everything. Yeah. That's uh, the most inefficient swing. Yeah. If the most efficient one is uh, use all the joints here. So first the body moves like a frisbee throw. Yeah. The body moves first and then add your arm motion and then wrist motion here. Mm -hmm. On the way down the body, arm and then wrist. Mm -hmm. okay. So mobilize your wrist. Okay, so ready, stage three, go. Mm -hmm. Ready, stage three, go. Yeah. Now, so it looks a little more effortless. effortless. So, down the line view here. Look at this, mm -hmm. how it flows. Yeah, it's much better. Hmm. Hmm. Like a chicken in that. So with this now, you can add uh, more effort as you repeat this motion again and again. Yeah, it feels really... Mm -hmm. And then 50%. more than anything, this will give you a lot more consistent impact because you're not starting from here and then... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so okay. just let it go and then let it go. Mm -hmm. So you'll have, uh, definitely have a more consistent impact. Now it's a bit a lot easier. When you're holding here and then stop it, then it bounces. Mm. When you go easy a little bit, so let it the just sets where it's yeah, let, to go. Let, let the wrist move, mm -hmm. then it will nicely slow down. Crazy. So you'll have a more stability at mm -hmm. the end. So this is uh, what you need. So I'll repeat this maybe it's okay, five times. Okay. Try to use the full range of motion of the wrist in the Go easy, and kick the ground well with the legs. Good trigger, and then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as you repeat this more and more, you will find uh, the most uh, comfortable flow. Yeah. So your body will quickly, by instinct, find the good flow. Okay. Just a matter of allowing you, allowing yourself to uh, just uh, enjoy this rhythm. Mm -hmm. okay? So already the swing pattern has changed quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And you, as you saw, right. the, the flow is a lot better. So it's just a matter of practicing this. Yeah. But don't ever try to rely on your muscles. Particularly the most inefficient one, because the corpse swing is a rotation dominant swing. Right, it's a whip. Rotation dominant motion. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you should have this uh, whipping motion. In other words, you have to time the joint motions properly. Mm -hmm. But the worst is uh, turning everything as one unit. Yeah. Okay? So, particularly you, if you don't have in, uh, sufficient wrist to cock here, and go flat and all the way here, from here try to swing everything together as one unit, yeah. then the club goes around your body, stays away from your body. That's the worst the speed killer. Yeah. So as you repeat this motion again and again, mm -hmm. the more you keep the club close to your body on the way down, 
So go here. Mm, here. Okay, from here. On the way down, the, the, the more you keep the club relatively close to your body and then later let it go, the speed increases. So the speed is not coming from <coughs> this action here, yeah. but rather your leg action, left leg action, and then keeping the club close to your body. This type of motion. This and the keeping the club close, you, close to your body and then release it later. So the, because of the wrist, the proper wrist motion is necessary. Mm -hmm. And the worst you have to avoid is try to turn everything as a one unit, making this a large arc early on. Yeah. So you can just uh, practice the wrist motion, yeah. not much arm motion. And then you can add the arm motion to the body motion. You have a good body motion all added. Then you're using the whole thing. But you have a reasonable range of motion at each joint. Mm -hmm. And then particularly when you use the wrist better, you don't have to move the body a lot. Because in this one, you try to swing this way, right? Mm -hmm. But if you let it go, using snapping action here, let it go, so you don't need to do, do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, stage three and your regular swing. So pretend that there's a ball here. Do the stage three first, and then you will do the regular swing. Okay. Remember, the key in, the, in this is doing this. Mm -hmm. the, the right leg action doing the back swing. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But that looks, uh, okay. that looks a lot smoother. Okay, so let me watch from this direction. Yeah. So always the, the success depends on how well you use your right leg during the back swing. This time, when you, do the, when you do stage three, try to exaggerate the right leg action. Okay? So drop a bit more and then push hard. Mm. Yeah. Yes. And no uh, push out. Yeah. Turn it around. So we go up here, and then the goal is to turn and then let it go instead of try to push. Yeah. Yes. So you just turn around. Mm -hmm. By using the left, uh, left leg, left hip as the axis, mm -hmm. and just to turn around yeah. instead of try to force it and then use your strength. Mm -hmm. And then just to touch, touch the tip of the T. Yeah. So now, now let's do this. Let's put the ball here. Then use the stage three as your pre-shot routine. Mm -hmm. And then in the regular swing, you will actually hit the ball. Mm hmm Ah, you, again, yeah, again, you, you push the arm out. Yeah. So again, just the turning around, turning around and throw the arms instead of trying to push the arms out. Mm-hmm. That's a, that looks smoother. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to do this, right? Yeah. So just turn around and then deliver the club head. I can't think about my arms. Yeah, by just, by just turning and then let it go yeah. instead of. So in order to do this, you have to start from here. 
That's why uh, it causes trouble. Yeah. Mm. Again, stage three and your regular. Mm -hmm. it's, it's nobody's fault. <laughs> when the ball hits you, then it's nobody's fault. Okay. Yep. So this is uh, how you practice. But don't try to hit the ball too hard for the moment. Right. For a while, just uh, try to feel the rhythm and then just uh, touch, touch, touch. Yeah. Throw the club head and then hit, hit, hit. Okay. 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 Yeah, oftentimes, uh, when you are so uh, ambitious and try to hit hard, but then you directly go back to your old habit. Right. So uh, for a while, you have to purposefully uh, practice. Yeah, that pattern is a lot cleaner. Yeah, the impact is a lot cleaner now. Impact is a lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. And then when you push the ground hard in the regular swing, then you'll be able to bring this a bit higher up. But yep. if uh, you don't push enough, then you go flat. Got it. Because this turn will mm -hmm. be more dominant than your effort of pushing up. Mm -hmm. okay? So downplay the, the turning. And then try to push it so it develops this good uh, upward okay. motion. <laughs> the, trigger, the, the stage three is really good. Now let's do this. So introduce the mini stage three. So full stage three, you have this big trigger motion and the swing. Mini stage three, mm, about this much. Smaller trigger motion, but still you can use the leg. Okay. Good. Then uh, that will help to connect it to the regular swing. So you have a three three step approach: full stage three, mini stage three, and the regular swing. Okay. Ah, that's the mini stage three. So that's the full stage three, mini, and then regular. Yeah, that full stage, when you have a faster backing, that was really good. Yes, the same idea. <laughs> and then the regular swing, you went uh, quite flat. Yeah. yeah. So the mini trigger, uh, mini stage was good. Okay. Okay. So then you have to come up with the regular swing quite close to the mini yes. stage three. Right. Okay. So. Uh, Again, your, your interest is not going this way here, but rather, mmm, yeah. mmm, going this way here. Mm -hmm. uh, this time, push the again. So it went to flat, and then you had a bit of pushing action here. Mm -hmm. But up to the mini stage three, the motion was really good yeah. from here. Yeah. But then when you do the regular swing, still going this. It is because, imagine, when you have a good trigger motion here, your goal is to go to this position here, right? Yeah. Then the same thing here, push, and then you have to go to that position. Yeah. And then no rush down. Instead of here, and try to rush. Mm, enough time and then let it go. Right. So this time when you do the stage three and mini stage three, try to have really fast backswing. Mm -hmm. okay? And then try to also increase the backswing speed in the regular swing mm -hmm. and they have a larger backswing. Mm. Yes. A bit rushed, a bit rushed, but um, now what I see is that your, your full stage three, mini stage three are really good. Mm -hmm. That means you have the foundation. Mm -hmm. The all you need is uh, in the regular string, you try to imitate what you do in the mini stage yeah. three. Okay? Yeah. So that's uh, your homework. Okay? Again, so let's, let me record this. 
Yeah, the, if you look at your, your swing flow, it's uh, heaven and earth difference. <laughs> okay. So this is your new birthday. Okay. Yeah, you, you are born again today. Or all three, so um, let's see. Ready, full, mini, and regular. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, so what I see here is uh, in full and mini stage your timing is really good. You're having good time up there. But in the regular swing, you tend to rush a little bit. Okay. So here, mm, you have good time here and then let it go. Both, but in the regular swing, mm, and then rushing a little bit. Okay. So you, because in your image, you try to hit, but again, mm, and then let it go. All right, ready, full, mini, and regular, go. Good. Mm-hmm. Yes, you're, you're getting better. I'm trying to get a, a touch more rest oh, there. You're, you're getting better, so. Um, <laughs> look at the timing here. Really good. Mm -hmm. But you're not using the right leg that much, mm -hmm. you see? Yeah, you're just turning here, but try to intentionally. In your case, for a while, you have this intentional mm -hmm. drop and push, active push. Okay. That, that will give you good timing here. Okay. okay. But this, just the turn, then you can always uh, rush. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 that makes sense. Mm. So here. From here, so mm -hmm. shift and down, and then push and turn. Okay? But this time timing was really good. Mm -hmm. Look at this, the, the overall flow. Mm. Yeah, up to this point is good. A little bit turning this way. Yeah, it's my takeaway. Yeah. I'm like so, pulling it with yeah. my arms. Yeah. When <laughs> you don't use this, then what happens is turn this way. Mm -hmm. But mm, push, push, and then going at the same time this way is hard. So mm -hmm. mm, and then going more this way here. So mm -hmm. this is what you need to practice a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for sure. But overall, overall, time to highlight your initial swing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's so different. Mm. It looks like Natalie Gulbis or something. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Seriously, we were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, so this is it.